Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Please stand clear of the discussion doors. The next stop is Highbury Squad. Hi Sophie, squaddies, it's the Monday after the big game and I'm still buzzing, couldn't sleep <laughs> because of that buzzing about the boys turning up, really putting in a great performance, doing the jobs, yeah, we've, we've said that, but again, credit to the players. It is all about the players. The players go out there and do the business. Whatever Mikel Arteta says is irrelevant if the players can't execute. And the players executed to a T yesterday. They were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, it's his team now. And not going overboard at all. Because I know, and you know, Everything isn't fixed. We've got a lot of challenges ahead. There's a game against Brighton that's coming up before the international break, which we need to win again. You want to keep momentum going. We knew these, these four games, five games, were going to be very important to, to us at Arsenal. And they have proved to be very important and proved to be very fruitful for us. Even though we haven't, I think the first probably two games, you know, we, we stumbled and we, we just got across the line um, against Norwich and Burnley. Obviously, Wimbledon was a bit more, the, the, the result was a lot better um, in the end, but wasn't the greatest performance probably. And, um, Everyone knew this was going to be our biggest test against the Spurs side, who on paper, many think are, are up there. But the game isn't played on paper. The game is played on a football pitch. And our boys, some who the media absolutely battered for Arsenal signing, Questioning the football club, questioning where it's going, etc. We absolutely smashed them. So I'd like to think the media would be fair, <laughs> which you know they're not. I just want the same energy that they lambasted us with, they battered us with, they bantered us with. Have the same energy now for when we win. And um, now Spurs are on a slump. This is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see them go out and question them. Three games in London. Nine goals conceded, one scored. Three London derbies. But the biggest one was yesterday. And they got absolutely smashed up. Battered. And if the score was more, nobody nobody could complain. It could have and probably should have been more. But do you know what? We'll take the free one. We'll take free one. A little consolation goal for Son. That's all right. After Tommy Yasu let him out of his, um, his skyrocket. But what I wanted to say was, I'm always saying it's the players, the players turned up, the players' attitude, that's what I'm so pleased about. The attitude was right, the focus was right, the mental toughness was right, and the result was right. And you know what? Big up to the 12th man. The 12th man in the stands, Arsenal fans were incredible. And do you know what? We deserved that. Gunas, we deserved that result yesterday. We really did reserve, deserve that result. Because we've, we've, we've been through... It's, it's only, what, six games gone in the league? And we've been through so much already. There's people telling us we're going to be relegated and now we've won three games on the spin. 
now we're above we're above that lot down the road so it's just football isn't it this is about what football does to you but the tough times when the times are tough and it's difficult to take yeah you stay as level as you can and we're not going overboard but we make sure we enjoy this because we don't see that lot until next year so the first North London derby, we've sorted them right out. Now, can we regroup and focus on a very difficult game against a Brighton side who are up there? Okay. Just wanted to leave this video with yourself, obviously for Monday Madness, um, or should I say Magical Monday, which will be a happy one for us Gooners. Um, Take care. I've got to say, I hope Granite Jack is not too bad, not too hurt. Um, as you know, not my favourite player, etc. But he had a decent game. He did have a decent game and the manager went with experience. And um, you can't say that he, he didn't pick the right team. He did. He picked the right team. Whichever way you look at it, 